it's delirious here what's going on so welcome to today's brand new video so today we're gonna what what's going on what's happening what the hell oh my god I look so handsome. Hi there. So obviously, if you haven't noticed yet, that I got a new fursuit. And before you guys get all traumatized, like a lot of people do when someone gets a brand new fursuit, I just want to tell you, don't. Stop. Don't do that. There is a stigma, though, with people when someone gets a new fursuit of a previous character where people go, yeah, that suit's cute, but I like your older one better. It's really upsetting to hear when you get a brand new fursuit that you really, really like and have a bunch of people come at you and say, Ah, it's good, but I like the old one better. Just please don't do that. Be considerate. It's not very nice to hear that. We spend a lot of money on fursuits. They both have their special unique qualities. And that's totally great if you like one or the other, but just please keep those opinions to yourself. I don't want to hear that. It's not very nice to hear. So I appreciate it greatly. This goes to everyone. Anyone who gets a new fursuit. So I think it's important just to keep those types of comments to yourself. You don't need to tell someone you like their older suit better. Just please keep those thoughts to yourself. Issue number one that I tell a lot of people is this suit is heavy as fuck. He weighs about 15 pounds. Fifteen! Do you know how hard that is on my neck? It hurts! Considering this one weighs maybe five, it's pretty damn light. It feels nice, like I can move around in it. <laughs> so considering for the past almost three years that I've had this fursuit head, it's been extremely difficult to suit in him. The head is just so extremely heavy. It restricts me, it hurts. After a full weekend, maybe even just a part day of suiting in this suit, like it hurts to sleep. My neck's in so much pain, my shoulders and my back. This suit is seriously an endanger to my health. It's that bad. It's upsetting that the suit restricts my movements. I can't move in it, it's so heavy. It comes down and chokes me down on my neck even. It's so thick that I can't breathe. I barely can suit for more than five minutes without having to take the head off because it's that severe. And I really need people to understand that, how bad this suit has been for me. And that's upsetting. I want to be able to suit for a while. I want to take character, but I can't with how bad this suit head has been. I don't want to sound too crappy, but this suit is seriously endangered to my health to wear him any longer. But that being said, I'm still gonna wear him sometimes. He is still a cute suit, but it's still a really bad suit for my health. And, and that's really bad. I don't wanna endanger myself and hurt myself further just to fursuit. That is definitely one of the biggest reasons why I decided to get a brand new fursuit head. You can see there's a difference between these two suits. This suit head didn't really turn out how I had imagined and hoped. This suit, he looks a little more crazy. You know, he's got the big teeth, dilated eyes. That's what I wanted. That's not what I got here. He's a lot more cutesy than what I wanted. And I know the maker has a very toony look, which is exactly what I wanted. I wanted toony. I wanted expressive. I wanted him to look kind of crazy. He's supposed to be a crazy corgi, you know? My whole kind of premise. He just didn't turn out like that. But this suit, he looks crazy. He's got the big smile, the big eyes. This being said too, this suit has gone through a lot of work by myself. Like, the hair, I added a lot of hair. I added his teeth and mouth. I even changed up his eyes. That was all my doing just to make him a little more better for myself. But obviously, it's not perfect. It's not still, it was still not what I wanted exactly. Unlike this suit, you can tell, this suit is so much more what I had imagined to begin with. I'm overall so happy with this, how this suit turned out. And another really big thing that I like about this suit is, he looks a lot more like his species. He's a cardigan Welsh corgi. With this suit, people think he's an Aussie, Border Collie, Bernese Mountain Dog, and they look 
a lot different than a corgi. <laughs> it's a little bit upsetting when people think I'm a different kind of dog than I am. It's like, no, sorry, I'm a corgi. <laughs> but with this suit, if I say, hey, I'm a corgi, people are like, I see that, you are a corgi. And it's like, feels so much nicer. It's like, oh, I actually look like what I'm supposed to now. <laughs> it's something I really appreciate now. It's like, great that I finally have the suit that I imagined when I first tried to commission my suit. So that'll be it for this video. I just wanted to introduce my new fursuit head and give you a few reasons to why I got a new head. I'm still going to be wearing this fursuit as well, so so you'll still be seeing both of these guys around. He's not going anywhere. I'm still going to be wearing them. I just might be wearing this one more frequently because it's much better health-wise for me. And I really hope this video helps you understand that. But well, it's getting hot here. I'm thirsty. So I'm going to end this video, but I'm so glad you guys tuned in. I hope you like the new Delirious. And I'll see you in my next videos.